In the last episode of my renovation of my 1813 ship captain's home, we started cleaning up the outside of the house. Longfellow Design Build started the demolition and rough framing. We also looked at the window situation with Mid Cape Home Centers, met local woodworkers from J&J, &J, met up with the classic tile team to go over plans and visit the project, and talked to local historians and commissioner about the town of Marion and the history of my home. Home Life and Style is brought to you by The Pine Hills, offering inspired new homes and daily adventures just 45 minutes from Boston. Snow and Jones, a fixture in New England homes since 1952. Classic Tile and Stone, your tile and stone destination. Vineyard Home, elements for a fine home, including fireplace, music, video, and automation. And South Peak, your ultimate four season resort on Loon Mountain. Hi, I'm Parker Kelly. Welcome to Home Life and Style. <laughs> I am passionate about design, food, and travel. I love discovering new places, meeting new people, and sharing who they are, how they live, and what they love. In each episode, I'll introduce you to a new destination through the eyes of the people who call it home. Join me as we celebrate these towns, these people, these homes in style. This is the third episode of the eight-part series on the renovation of my 1813 ship captain's home. In this episode, we choose tile with classic tile and stone, choose vanities and fixtures with Snow and Jones, start the fence process with Marion Fence, visit Midcape Home Centers to choose windows and doors, and talk with the owner about this family-owned company. Let's go. The time had come for me to head over to Classic Tile and Stone to check out the selections and choose the tile and stone. These talented sisters, Kristen and Julie, have been my go-to for tile for years. And as with every project, I couldn't wait to get there and get started. What a big project. Lots of, lots of places. Yes, yes, but what, that It'll house. Be great. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait stuff. to see the transformation. Yeah, it's definitely going to have a transformation. Oh, gosh, mm -hmm. yes. So here I need something for the mudroom floor that's can get dirty, Durable. Yep. but still mm -hmm. looks really pretty. Okay. But not like fancy pretty. And also has a texture, so we, we don't sweat. Wet feet. feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So what, what do you think for that? What are you kind of thinking? I would think for the kind of the age of the house, the style of the house, I would probably stick with probably a slate. Mm -hmm. It's very traditional. Okay. Maybe set it in a herringbone to update it a little bit. Oh, yeah. I love herringbone. But anyway. it's... It's pretty timeless. Yes. And then the smaller scale set in the herringbone will give you more traction, too, if you're worried about being slippery okay, so or anything of like, like that. Large mm -hmm. pieces like that. Exactly. So if you want to stay somewhat neutral in the main part of the mm -hmm, kitchen, mm -hmm. I think that a tile such as this, okay, yeah. it has surface texture. I think I love the size of this. Mm -hmm. It's just a little smaller than a traditional classic, mm -hmm. but it adds, I, to me, this character, this depth. Is interest. It's subtle variation. It's subtle color in it. variation. So it's a white backsplash, but it's not. Mark's suggestion from Longfellow was that we do a wet bar here. And I think it'd be a great way to draw the dining room and the living room mm -hmm. and have like a reason depth. It's a good connector. Yeah. Right? And so I'm looking for a, a tile that is um, antique looking. Okay. But this is going to be kind of modern looking a little bit. But the wood that we're tearing down this um, pantry. Yes. I'm gonna save it, and I met a guy who's going to make a countertop <gasps> out of it. Oh, I like that. Because I don't want to just get rid of it. Because mm -hmm. this is like 300 year old wood. Right, right. right? So I'm thinking of- Repurpose. Um, yeah. What do you think, Chris? I love antique the antique mirror. mirror. That's what I was thinking when you were describing the reclaimed wood, and then with the brass and the glass. I think that could be really pretty. Not in the size. That I'd do a bigger Would scale. do bigger. Stunning. 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 Reflective. And the space is is kind of small. You know, it's a foyer. Mm -hmm. And so I think that'll, like, add, add depth. It's kind of like a little Hollywood glam. Yeah. 
you know? Yes. And so they make it look antique. Yes. yes. However they produce it. Thank you guys again. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see it all come together. I, know. I can't wait to see everybody together with it all coming together. I know. And all I the know. people who make it come together. I mean, it's so special. Um, thank you. Thank you. Oh, a pleasure. Yeah. Joy to share with you in my arms. Just a little hug every day will solve your problems. I got love to share with you in my pocket. Just a little kiss on the lips and we'll skyrocket. We go. Need a fresh new look for your kitchen or bath? Snow and Jones can help you get there. We've been located on the South Shore in Cape Cod since 1952 as a family business, so it's given us a long time to establish roots and a good reputation. We really try to train our people on style and design as well as the technical aspect because missing one or the other can really throw everything off. So uh, they have great insight. We really can take all those pieces together and create that full project. Start your Snow and Jones project today. My next stop was to Norwell, Massachusetts, to Snow and Jones, a family owned and operated business I trust completely to help me find the best pieces for my kitchen and bathrooms. I brought the tile that I got from Classic Tile and Stone. And once again, Danielle Jones was amazing at helping me find the perfect pieces for my home. I love your showroom, it looks so good. Doesn't it, the updates have really been stunning. We're getting really great, tremendous response from all the new little details and fun finishes and yeah I bet to do people um, ever say I want this exact display in my in my house absolutely yeah. I think we make sure that we're not just throwing together walls of faucets or walls of cabinets that it's important to show people like this could look just like this in your home yes. so well, we put a lot of thought into things we don't carry like tile and wallpaper and all those little details to help our clients really see this is exactly what you can have and visualize that whole space together this is the powder? Is this that's the powder room, right? Powder that's room. that's the, the POW powder room floor. I just absolutely obsessed over this style. It's stunning and the color here is phenomenal. I think it'd be really a really great place where maybe we could mix in like a console table with some metal legs oh, I love as those. the sink. I think that was, would really pop off the detailing in this tile. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect for there. And Without yeah, there's also a not lot competing of... too much either. Right. So the kitchen has two islands. One of them will have the Calcutta on the top. The other one will have walnut and be um, a butcher block oh, type yeah. uh, situation. And then toward the end will be the pantry. And this will be the back, so, sort of pulling off of the ceiling, just a little bit of color. And this is gonna look so great with the Kohler farmhouse sink that we're looking at for this space. Yes. So that's really gonna add that vintage detail as well, but still clean lines. And we're gonna look at a custom faucet by a company called Waterstone, where they literally okay. make every part of their faucets by hand wow. and have some really great nautical details that we can do in a beautiful gold tone to complement that Calcutta. Oh, that's And awesome. I think that's gonna be an amazing detail in that kitchen. That sounds beautiful. So this is going to be an accent wall um, in the shower. So the shower is the whole length, as you can see, it's the, it's the, it's the whole width. And then this will be the, ent the entire wall. I think this would be a good space to look at a new Kohler vanity that has a really great gray tones in it. 
Okay. Um, that also is available with wooden handles, so we'd be able to really incorporate both the cool tones and the warmth that is mixed in this tile. And for this example, in your master bath here with this vanity space, I know we had talked about this tile having both warm and cool tones mm -hmm. in it with the nice taupe colors, right. with tinges of gray, and trying to find a furniture piece that would really capture the essence of these colors. Mm -hmm. Um, so being able to fit this space, which we talked about a 60 inch vanity fitting great right here, we can take a look at this Kohler Harkin vanity here. Okay. Being a beautiful furniture piece with those gray tones. Yes. This so has four, a four a drawer setup, so okay. that you're able to pull out those drawers and have great, oh, great. storage space there. Oh, I love so that. we do have this vanity on the floor, so we should take your tiles over to it and kind of position them there to see if this is something you like. So yeah, let's look at those. Yeah, let's go other take a pieces. look. Get out on the showroom floor and take a look at those products. Okay, awesome. Right. This has a texture on it. Too. This has a texture on it, and the cast iron. So Kohler was the first company they used to make cast iron bathtubs to the farms, okay. and then incorporated that into kitchen sinks. So in that cast iron material, you do get a little bit of texture to the front, which mm. I think just really adds to that heritage vintage look. So this is what we're going to be doing. This is what you're going okay, to do. Okay, so that's so yours like is going the backsplash be... too has a little bit of that. So Correct. that works so it's really all well. Pull nicely. And we're going to do yours in a true white. This kitchen faucet is everything. <laughs> it is everything. So this is made by a company called Waterstone and they are located in California. And every piece in the Waterstone faucet they make by hand. Oh wow. So when people come in and say they want a truly American made product, Waterstone is completely American made. For this project in Marion, I wanted to use as many local business as possible. So I decided to source all of my wallpaper and fabrics from surroundings at the river shops in Mattapoisett, and they were terrific. For more than 20 years, it's been known all over the South Coast for its design services and high quality of products. Furniture, accessories, art, fabric, rugs, wall coverings, you name it, they have it. I showed them some of the tile I had chosen, and they showed me some of their presentations, and I was impressed. And I'd be visiting their design space to brainstorm many times. Hi guys. Hi, Hi Parker. Parker. Hi, Good how are you? Good to see you. Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm just so super excited. Did I give you way too much information? No, it was no. perfect. It was so helpful that you have a vision and had lots of things that you love. It's so hard to see it kind of this way, but I think also it, it tells a story. It does. So you see the colors and how the rooms transition. So I, I think we're off to a good start. Yeah, so but we're basically gonna work from the mudroom and then into the dining room and then into the, the where the wet bar area is and then into the living room. So all that's gonna feel kind of cohesive, yes. right? I think it should. I mean, yeah. it feels just the way that you're gonna use the house and how the rooms do open into each other. Yeah. You guys are fabulous. Oh, thank and you. And I really appreciate great to work all. With. Oh, thank you. So, and I, we're going to make a gorgeous home together. I know we are. I, that's our goal. Yes. I yes. think we've locked in on some really pretty selections, and we'll whatever works for you, we'll make sure it's beautiful. I've worked with Kristen and Julie for about seven years now. About thirty projects. They care as much as I do about the finished product. And every time I walk in, I'm always like, girls, what do we have new? And they always have things set aside to show me. And it's, every time I go there, it's so exciting. They text me pictures as soon as Tile comes in that they think is really exciting. Like Even on a Saturday, I'll get a text. And they'll know that I'm just as excited to see it as they are to share. And so they're, they're my go-to. Recognized and respected. Classic Tile and Stone on Boston's South Shore. At Longfellow, we have a constant need for quality materials and supplies.
Knowing MidCape can commit their best to us means we can commit our best to our customers every time. While the weather was still decent, I wanted to meet up with another local business, Marion Fence. Donald, the owner, and a Marion native, has installed fences all over town. He is hardworking and had taken over the business from his father. I wanted to talk with him about the granite posts in the backyard. My idea was to move them to the front so people could enjoy their beauty. It was not an easy ask, but Donald just kept saying, we'll figure it out. As long as we're able to utilize these in some oh, way. Oh yeah, this is something with Marion because these are all over town. If you do, drive around down the cemetery at Hermitage, there's a whole bunch of these out in front of the cemetery. Same thing. Yeah, but these are these are kind of wasted back here, and I would love to be able to show them. They're beautiful, and that yeah. and the one you sent me to when I saw the granite next to the fence. I mean, yeah, that's well, nice. Yeah. I love I love the privet next to the fence. I love the, you know fence. I think I know you just do it every day. Yeah, <laughs> so know, I but... come in, I do the fence, then those guys come in and landscape whatever you're going to have done afterwards. Uh, uh, Susanna and, yeah. and, J and JC and the crew yeah. there, Chris. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Great. Yeah. So I'll just order probably some blank posts or I'll order some ends and I can do with them what I need. I can, okay. can route them myself and make them lines. Or, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Makes sense? No, I love your attitude because I I'm like, this is what I want. And you're like, I think I can make it work. Yeah. And you're just like, so, I think I can make it work. Yeah. You, you're going to have a couple vinyl posts. I'll just figure it out. Yeah. I'll do whatever's going to look good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I like this. I like this idea. I don't care how deep these are. I can get them out. Hopefully not on break, but I can get them out. I got a machine. I'll get them out. Yeah. What kind of machine do you use for it's that? It's just a dingo. It's a mini skid steer. It's got four little tires. Oh, I it's, shouldn't have asked. Oh, it's just a dingo. Uh, you know, it's, it's um, it's got it's, it has, I have an auger head. I got a, I got oh, a Oh, like when, in uh, ice fishing? Yeah, except it's, it's, it's hydraulically powered. Okay. It digs down on the ground. I got different size augers. I have, uh, <clears throat> I have a stump grinder. If I have a stump in the way, I can grind it out of the way. You know, I, yeah. bought, I got that for it because it's just handy to have. You know. Yeah. Yeah. This will look nice. This will look great. You guys will be very happy with it. It'll be a little tricky to do it, but you'll be very happy with it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So this is great. You got 18. Let me go get a price of the material. I'll call you up and let you know okay. what it's going to run. All right. And uh, we'll go from there. That sounds good. Yeah. All right. Good deal. Thanks awesome. for coming again. Another local business I wanted to feature and work with was Davis Land Design. Susanna Davis, the owner, knew the house completely. She used to be friends with one of the kids who lived here during the 60s, and she gave me tons of great ideas for my landscaping. Did you grow up in Marion? I did. I, I grew did. up in Marion on Converse Road, went to school here, you know, did, did just grew up here and then left for 20 years. And then it seemed like a good place to come back to. And mm. it was, it's been a great place to work. And I just people here are so kind and thoughtful that you would never, living here, I think you would never feel alone. Yeah. Neighborly, right? Neighborly, just really. And my kids love it. And the beach is right there. And it's just a good place yeah. to be. And so how many, how many uh, properties here have you have, have your hand? in terms of the landscaping. Oh, oh gosh. I think I had 450 clients in my, my little email list. Um, I, I sometimes think that normal people retire, but I don't really know how to do that. <laughs> so uh, no, I don't. It, it, but it's been great because the word of mouth thing means that I work with great people, incredible people that I'm kind of addicted to it because I love the process. Yeah. I'm sure each project is different, right? We have the big house with the big empty front, <laughs> right? And Everyone is different. <laughs> yeah. and, it, and that and keeps it exciting. I can see how you can get addicted to that. It's, it's all different. Mm -hmm. I was a teacher for a few years, and I enjoy that part too, the teaching people about their plants and about their little micro environment and um, talking about space. That's a huge part of yeah of how you use your space and how you want to experience it. So there's a lot. There's understanding climate change and, and global warming and it all, just so much of, of 
everyday life is part of this whole process. Uh, yeah. So, well, it's lovely getting to know you, and you. I'm really happy you're going to be doing my uh, our yard, and uh, that Donald recommended you. And um, it's wonderful. Well, here's to you. Thank Susanna. you. Here's to you're a superstar. Well, here's to a good a good team. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. After visiting our project and understanding what I was looking for, Midcape Home Centers and I set up a meeting so that I could see the products and make my final selections. Wow, look at this one. Yeah, so um, I know that in the kitchen area, you wanna bring the outside in. I do, I really, I really love that whole concept anyway. And I love the beautiful backyard that we have. And I think this will make the kitchen bright and right. light. Right. And, and I just, I just, lo I just love it. This, so is this one of the choices? Yeah, so this is a multi-slide door. Uh, from Marvin and what's neat about your kitchen area it's got really tall ceilings so we can do at least a seven foot door there so the difference between this and yeah. a typical sliding a typical sliding door you'll have two panels that slide and they and that's all you get you only get one side opening this opens up the entire space so you can view it right out to the outside oh, and that's transition from one location to the other oh that's fabulous so, gorgeous and so I went in in black it's gonna yeah. look good in black and I can get black on one side mm -hmm. And then white on the inside? You can uh, mix and match any color you want within the Marvin spectrum. So Parker, I want to show you the operation of the uh, bifold door. And this is the second option that you have. Okay. So you open what we call the man door on it. What is that called? It's called a man door, which means it operates like a, a typical swing door. Okay, great. So we call it a man door. The bifold Marvin door. Yeah. And remember we were saying earlier, the difference between this and a multi-slide, this offers even more uh, walk through space, bringing the outside in. Because right. it just because it, folds. Uh, it's accordion style or bifolding onto itself. So what's really neat about this, uh, as far as the size, if you have what we call a biparting door where they meet in the middle, that's how you can get this 48 feet if they bipart and open up. And both the multi-slide and the bifold have that option. So you can get the 48 foot opening uh, and just, you're, you're then adding a whole different aspect to the house. So I would it's, it's take with 48 feet. Yeah. I think even 10. I, yeah, I know. I, even eight. Honestly. I'm modest, and I'll go with 10, <laughs> yeah. but we can do 48. Everyone's always talking about curb appeal. Right. What's more curb appeal than right. your windows? And, and think your about your home, too. It's, it's a traditional colonial from eight, early 1800s. You want to keep it a traditional colonial. Yeah. So pretty cool. Yeah, you're the best, so <laughs> I'm excited. Good. Thank you very much. Let's get going. Nice to see you nice again. See you again. Okay, right. off we go. After deciding on the bifold door and confirming the windows at Mid Cape Home Centers, I also got a chance to check out the bustling lumber yard and chat with Jack, the owner of this incredible full service operation. Hey, Jack. Parker, how are you today? I'm well. Nice <laughs> seeing you again. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Talk about the longevity here. Uh, well, in Mid Cape, we're so excited. 126th year anniversary, 125th was last year. Just. Great company, great team of people. We're just so pr proud to be part of the Cape Cod community. Six locations? Yes, yes, six locations. Five shipping locations. We have a showroom in Martha's Vineyard. So, yes, we're very, very blessed to have some great locations. Yeah, so so load the truck at night, get ready, hit the ground running. I see a big Marvin windows and doors. Yep. A big truck going there filled with product. Yep. Yep, coming in and coming out. Yes, yeah, we've uh, yeah, Marvin's been a great brand for us. I know you've done a lot of work with Marvin and uh, Mark and uh, Longfellow, just a lot of work with that. It's it's a great brand for us. We're so pleased with them. Yeah, Jonathan showed me, uh, you know, I could, theoretically, I knew the doors were amazing and the windows were amazing, but Jonathan just uh, showed me the, the bifold door, the, the multi-slide the multi door. Multi door. Yeah, yeah, people drive by on the highway. It's, it, they have no idea what's back here. And it's it's a massive campus. It's just huge, you yeah. know. And, and again, we, and we've grown every year. Crystal told me 50 years some of the employees have been here. Yeah, we've well, got a couple people. Well, that, what's the, your well, magic? Of 40, a couple Where's of your 50. secret sauce? Uh, well, I mean, the company changed hands like 10 years or so ago. Yeah. And since that time, has been a rebirth of the organization. So I don't want to talk to too much back then because I, yeah. I wasn't part of it. Right. But I know the culture that we've put in place here right now, it works. And, and we've, uh, we've got eight guiding principles. The one that is the one that is the most true to me and the one that we live every day as a team is do the right thing. And uh, you know what sounds hollow and phony? It's not. You get up every day and you make the right decisions. If something goes wrong, hey, 
improvise. We have to improvise, but we, we, we're trying to do the right thing every time. And, and that's really one that the team loves and lives the most. And uh, that's who we are. It's, it's you know, it, there's no, you know, it's not winning every time. It's, it's, it's winning as a team with you and your customer and making things happen. And the culture that we have makes that happen. So we're, we're, we're very fortunate. All right, you're awesome. I know you're busy, okay. but do come to the party. I will. And I'm gonna meet Rich. Okay. The house renovation is moving along. Next time, we tackle the HVAC system with Matt Nascala. The Marvin windows and doors arrive from Mid-Cape Home Centers. J&J &J starts the counter for the wet bar. Longfellow Design Build starts the portico. Progress is made on the landscaping. Marion Fence starts the granite part of the project. And I chat with the head of school at Tabor Academy. That's next week. Stay tuned.